We have here decimal numbers and we know that the order of operations for decimals is the same as that for whole numbers and fractions. So first we have to do parentheses, next exponents, multiplication, divisions and addition and subtraction. In this example, in parentheses we don't have any operations. Next we have to check the power. We have 4.2 to third power and 0.4 to second power. So we have to do the power. Next we have subtraction and addition. So when we have subtraction and addition we go from the left to the right. So first we have to do the power. We have 4.2 times 4.2 times 4.2 because we have 4.2 to third power minus and we now we have 0.4 to second power, so we have 0.4 times 0.4 and at the end we have to add 1.5. So first we have to do multiplication, we have to multiply 4 times 0.2 times 4.2 and next times 4.2. So we have 4.2 times 4.2. How we multiply decimal numbers? Like whole numbers, at the end we have to count decimal places. So forget about decimal points and we have 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, and now we have 4 times 2, but 4 is in the second column, it's 10th column, so we have 40 times 2 is 18, 4 times 4 is 16, and now we have to do addition, 4 plus 0 is 4, 8 plus 8, is 16, so we have 6, and we have to add 1 to next column, so it will be 7, 1. Next, we have to count decimal places. In the first decimal number, we have 1. In the second, we have 1, so it will be 2. We have to add decimal places, and we count from the right to left. Two decimal places. So, the solution is, from this first multiplication, will be 17.64 times we have 4.2 minus, and now we can do multiplication 0 0.4 times 0 0.4. Like I said, we multiply like whole numbers, and at the end we have to count the decimal places. 4 times 4 is 16, so we have 6, and 1 we add to next column. 4 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. And 0 times 4 give me 0, so I don't have to write 0 times 0 is 0. And now we have to count decimal places. In first number we have 1, in the second we have 1, so we have to add decimal places. We have two decimal places, so we count from the right to the left. Decimal point will be before 1, so we can write that this is 0 0.16. So now we come back to our operations. We have minus 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 will be 0 0.16 plus 1.5. So again, we start from the multiplication. We have to multiply 17.64 times 4.2. I always write in the second column number which has less digit because now I have to multiply only 2 times every digit in the first row and 4 times every digit in the first row. It will be shorter way and in, when we have multiplication it doesn't matter if you multiply first number by the second or second by the first, the result is the same. So let's do this. Four, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 6 is 12, so we have 2 and 1, we add to next column, 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15, so we have 5 and 1, we add to next column, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. And now we have to multiply next digit, but this is in the tens column. We have to forget about decimal points, so we have 40 times 4 is 160, so we have to write 60, and 1, we add to next column. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25, so we have 5, and 2 we add to next column. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 2 is 30, so we have 0, and 3 we add to next column. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7. Now we have to do addition. So we have 8, 8, 10, so it will be 1, so it will be 4, 7. Next we have to count decimal places. In first number we have 2, 
In the second we have 1, so we have to add decimal places, will be 3. We start from the right side and we are going to the left, 3 decimal places. So decimal point will be between 4 and 0. So we have the result, this is 74 decimal point, 0 0.088, we have minus 0 0.16 plus 1.5. Next, when we have addition and subtraction, we're going from the left to the right. So we have to subtract from 74.088, 0 0.16. So let me write this. We have to align decimal points. We have 74 decimal point 0 0.088 minus... 0 decimal point 16. When we have subtraction, we have to align decimal points. We have to keep decimal points in the same column. The empty space we can fill by 0. And we start from the last column. 8 minus 0 is 8. 8 minus 6 is 2. 0 minus 1 we cannot do. So we borrow 1 from 4. So it will be 3. And we will have 10 now. So 10 minus 1 is 9. Copy decimal point exactly in the same column. 3 minus 0 is 3. 7, we copy. So we have 73 decimal point 928. We have to add 1.5. So let me use the same result we have here. Plus, we have to add 1.5. When we have to add decimal numbers, we have to keep decimal points exactly in the same column. And empty space, this is, we can fill by zeros. So, we add now this decimal numbers like whole numbers, and we have to keep decimal point exactly in the same column. 8 plus 0 is 8, 2 plus 0 is 2, 9 plus 5 is 14. So, we have 4 and 1, we add to next column. So it will be 5 decimal point, we copy exactly in the same column, and we have 7. So the solution will be 75 decimal point 428.